vehicles of the future racing through an ancient landscape. To me it's always to a certain extent a spiritual journey as we pass through the ancient heart of this wonderful land. Competitors in this year's World Solar Challenge zooming down the Stewart Highway, passing through Alice Springs on their 3,000 kilometre journey from Darwin to Adelaide in cars powered entirely by the sun. We would love to see more sun, but every team has to deal with it. So. Teams battling heat, wind and fire, with smoke haze impacting charging levels and soaring temperatures heating up cockpits to up to 60 degrees Celsius. But we especially trained our pilots on that within a sauna up to 55 degrees, and now they're actually performing really good. Teams of engineers have been working for months in efforts to build the most innovative and efficient solar car. There's a new lithium-ion battery with an energy density that's way, way bigger than anything that our science faculty would have predicted. Uh, and that's what's fueling these cars that are down at the pointy end of the field. We developed, for example, our own motor, which is even more efficient than a motor of Tesla. So we, as a group of 20 engineering students, succeeded in beating Elon Musk, and we are actually really proud of that. From here, the teams will race to Adelaide, battling the tough conditions of the Australian outback to make it to the finish line. It's not completely out of the question that we might see the leaders in late on Wednesday afternoon. With half the distance now covered, it's still in the air when or if these cars make it to the finish line. Charmaine Allison, ABC News, Alice Springs.